TCU 29, Baylor 28. Man alive. Let me uh, let me go in and pull it up. Let me show you what we're working with. So Max Duggan, 24 out of 35, 327 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Max Duggan was the leading rusher for Baylor, or excuse me, for TCU. Uh, Baylor, uh, so Reese had 10 carries for 56 yards. Uh, Williams, you know, Craig Williams had 19 carries for uh, 112 yards. Blake Shapin was pretty good. 21 out of 30, 269 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Now, here is what I put down. I said, Baylor's missed a 46-yard field goal early, really hurt, and it looked like TCU's missed points after attempt in the third quarter was going to sting them, but that fire drill field goal at the end of the ball sent the Fort Worth Frogs into a frenzy. <laughs> I feel like I was writing for, for an old newspaper. Uh, Dave Aranda did slow down TCU's uh, rushing attack. I mean, it, Kendra Miller, 10 carries, 41 yards, like that's, that's not typical for him. Um, but, you know, Max Duggan took up the slack. It got eight carries for 50 yards here, and this was just a knockdown, drag-out fight. That, that's what this was. Like, Baylor went at them early, and and then eventually got shut down, but uh, you see what they were doing in that first half. Uh, 11 plays, 76 yards, touchdown. Uh, eight plays, 45 yards, missed field goal. A nine-play, 75-yard drive for a touchdown. And then the next drive, 11 plays, 37 yards, and they turned the ball over on downs. The next drive, 11 plays, 78 yards, or 76 yards, and they threw an intercept. Like, TCU dodged bullet after bullet after bullet in that first half, and then were able to keep it just close enough to where in the fourth quarter they could come down and score on a 90-yard touchdown drive, miss the two-point conversion, and then get the ball back with, what, a minute 34 left? And find a way to kick that field goal. That was awesome. And to do it in your rival's house. And I understand that the Texas win was big. To be able to to get emotionally back up for this game. And I know that, like, yeah, it's two rivalries, uh, it's another road game, etc. But to be able to do it two weeks in a row where things are not exactly going your way on offense, that is incredibly impressive. Incredibly impressive. I I hope that Sonny Dyke sticks around there for a while because I'm hearing his name start to pop up with some of these other jobs that are open and other jobs that may be coming open. And I do not want him to leave at TCU. I just don't. Like, I think that he fits really, really well there. And, and those TCU fans have wanted somebody that is fun, and exciting, etc. It's not that Gary Patterson was a bad coach. It's just that the game has adapted. He did not adapt with it. So I, I hope that he sticks around. Baylor put everything they had into this one. Uh, speaking of another name, thrown around for some of these search, uh, search, you know, Dave Aranda. They did everything they could in this one, and we're not able to get it done. Baylor now 6-5. and five. Uh, You lose a bunch of dude to the NFL, etc., or, or to graduation, and yeah, you're going to have a step back if you're a program like Baylor, right? They, they don't replenish the the cupboard quite as well this is still a develop uh, excuse me a developmental program so i'm i'm curious to see what uh what they're going to end up doing going forward but yeah this one was awesome this was a fun game i was excited about it cheers to tcu for getting that thing done thanks for listening to winning cures everything make sure and subscribe on youtube or your favorite podcast app and make sure to leave a nice five-star review you can follow gary on twitter at gary wce and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.